I'm Ben, a developer relations engineer at Google, and today I'd like to talk to you about drag and drop for seamless multitasking. On large screen devices, we've seen an increase in side by side app usage. For example, Chrome multi instance usage is 42% greater on tablets and foldables than on phones. As a result of this trend, investing in drag and drop is a great way to reduce friction for users on large screen devices. With it, users can share content between apps with one seamless gesture instead of by navigating each app's specific menus. Though you can do the full drag and drop integration yourself, the Jetpack Core and drag and drop libraries make it much easier to implement, both on the sending side and on the receiving side. Let's take a look at what it's like to use them. To begin with, Drag Start Helper is a utility class from the Android X Core library that handles detecting gestures commonly used to start a drag, such as long pressing on a touchscreen or clicking and dragging with the mouse. To wire things up for you, it takes a view and an on drag start listener as parameters. The on drag start listener you provide will be called when a drag gesture has been detected. In it, you should create a clip data that represents the information to be shared via the interaction. The best practice is to include multiple representations of the information in one clip data. For example, when dragging an image, you can include a high quality PNG, a lower quality JPEG, and a URL to the hosted version of the image. This way, more drop destinations are supported, and those that support multiple formats can choose which one is most suitable. To make it clear to the user what is being dragged, you can easily set and customize the appearance of the dragged object by implementing a drag shadow builder. Here, we are using the default one, which returns a shadow that has the same appearance as the view itself. Finally, to tell the system to start sending drag events, call the view's start drag and drop method. The system will take care of communicating with available drop targets. An important thing to note here is the two flags we're using when calling start drag and drop. Drag flag global is used to indicate the drag events should be sent to apps other than the source app, and is critical to a great multitasking experience. Additionally, since the content being shared is a resource accessible by your content provider, and not just plain text, Drag flag global URI read is used to give other apps permission to read from the content provider. There are additional flags you can use to modify the behavior, so be sure to check out the documentation. One more thing, don't forget to call drop helper's attach method so everything actually gets set up. The counterpart on the drop side is drop helper, a utility class from the Android X drag and drop library that takes care of setting up drop targets. When configuring your drop target, you include a list of content types that your target supports. In this snippet, the target supports plain text and all image types. The drop helper will use this to handle highlighting your view when a suitable drag event is detected above the target. To further configure your drop target, you can supply some options, such as the highlight color and border radius. If your target contains any edit text and you do not want them to take precedence over the target itself, you should use add inner edit text to handle this behavior for you. Finally, you provide an on-receive content listener implementation that is called with a drop payload when the user releases the content onto the target. This listener provides a uniform interface that can also be used for paste events and keyboard image input. And with that, you've got everything you need to start dragging and dropping into and out of your app. Lastly, the drag start helper and drop helper, I primarily focused on views, built-in compose support is on the roadmap to make this easier there as well. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the resources linked below.